Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? We are live with Sor Zephy for the Sniping Codcast episode 3 of this year. How you doing my man? Good, good. I'm doing fantastic. You know, just woke up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, we were talking chilling. about that. <laughs> we were just talking about that right before, uh, right before we went live. Because there's a big time difference. Um, you know, it's 1 o'clock here, but he just said it's 10 a.m. there. And I, I feel bad because, you know, I don't even wake up at 10 a.m. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah thanks for coming on man oh uh, yeah i appreciate it bro thank you for uh putting me on oh yeah lexus coming in with the bits thank you thank you um so we were talking before this but uh you didn't you didn't actually watch the game but you were streaming uh last night when the game was going on yeah yeah i i, I saw it on the timeline like i'm not much of a football type of guy but yeah, um, yeah. i mean like i used to when i was active as a kid but now not anymore yeah, <clears throat> I don't watch like any of the games anymore because I mean they're four hour games, but I watch like the highlights on YouTube. Um, but I haven't kept up with football in a while. I mean, I used to play it, but I haven't kept up with like NFL or anything because mm. it's just not interesting to me. Um, yeah, as far as the whole game, I think the biggest thing of the of this Super Bowl last night, and I'm sure the chat can contest, but. Uh, was just this like five seconds of this guy streaking <laughs> that was about it like <laughs> the whole game was pretty boring to watch yeah like like me personally <clears throat> i i don't know what it is like i can't watch games unless like mm -hmm. m just maybe if it's like if, if it's a game that i'm genuinely interested in but if it's like if i'm rooting for a team i can't because yeah i i feel like <clears throat> like like for me to enjoy a game i have to be the one playing in it if i'm not yeah. playing in it i nah I can. <laughs> yeah no i for like watching sports i've lost all interest for the last like couple years like i don't really like watching them unless it's something like super that i'm into like maybe like a college team that i like but even then i don't really like watching it too much so yeah i feel that yes whatever but everyone welcome to the stream we got sore zephy coming on um this is the first time we've actually spoke i think right yeah, yeah. I think um I know we tweeted at each other and then um mm -hmm. I think uh I was in one of your videos <laughs> and I remember that <laughs> back in twenty seventeen. <laughs> that was so for the Sora RC. Then, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, dude. No, twenty seventeen that was that was quite crazy year. Uh talk about cringy dude. I, I make videos now and then I watch them like a couple days later and I'm like, man, my videos are cringy. <laughs> so yeah it, i feel that yeah i i don't really like watching my videos like from any time period but uh but no uh you've been in sore since then right was that the year you got in 2017 yeah that was uh, the the same rc that you went for so yeah the same rc that obey spidey went for too that Spidey was it for that one was it i'm pretty sure it was for that one. Oh. maybe well maybe it was earlier i don't know do you remember yeah. Obey Spidey? The, uh... yeah, 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 he's doing good right now on on TikTok along with Jordan. Oh shit, is he really? Yeah, he has like I think somewhere around 100k. He's, Holy he's chilling. Yeah. cow! Yeah, what a glow up! Yeah, uh, I think he like moved past um you know the fake clips and the the funny ass Twitter shit that he uh, the videos he made. It was interesting. Yeah, yeah. that shit was funny. <laughs> uh, do you have TikTok? I'm sure you do. Yeah, yeah, I've been um, I've been utilizing the fuck out of that platform since like for about a year now, I'd say. I, I'm kind of like pushing towards like leaning towards that now because of uh, I see how many people grow from that, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of growth just from like posting on TikTok, but then it also transfers over to Twitch, I'm sure, and stuff like that. Oh, even on YouTube, I remember um, I had a post that blew up. It was around like. I think it's like 1.2 million now with like mm -hmm. 100 something K likes. And I remember I got like 500 subs on my YouTube in one night. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Because I was just like under the comments every time someone said like, oh, what's the class setup? What's the class setup? I just replied like to like thousands of them. Check my oh YouTube, my check my YouTube, God. check my YouTube. Just oh nonstop. my gosh. <laughs> I was just bored one night. I just spent a whole hour just going going in. Um, and then like... Uh, it translated into my Twitch, and I remember uh -huh. I was averaging like 30, 40 around Modern Warfare. And then every day, like for the last couple of months on Modern Warfare, I was averaging like 70 to 90 on my own, no host. I was like, fuck yes, dude. Like, like I'm finally getting the growth that I've been wanting for the longest time. Yeah. Um, and, and I finally doubled it, you know, from the beginning Golly. of the year. 
Yeah. So for anyone that uh, want to grow on on Twitch or yeah. YouTube, capitalize on TikTok right away. Dude, that's what I need to do because mm -hmm. my goal for this year is to hit 10k on YouTube. Um, and I've noticed on TikTok. <laughs> so I I do I do have a TikTok. I just don't post on it at all. But when I first created it, right when like Cold War started, uh, I, I basically was tr I was go I wasn't doing like serious videos. I was I was doing what I call shit talk, where I just post like dumb stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I'll post like me like it, I'm I'm doing this for like on purpose. But I post like me using the LMG and getting like a ki a single kill. Be like this is amazing, <laughs> like stuff like that. <laughs> or like or like i'm using a sniper and i get like a collateral and i'm like snipers are broken you know i put that in the title oh um, yeah just uh just uh click just, or something yeah just a shit post and uh i got 200k views on my lmg clip and i was like this is so ridiculous 200k Holy 200k shit. views and it was like my third video i posted and i was like this is ridiculous obviously i get a lot of you know hate comments but you know that was kind of the uh purpose of it just to like just to be an ass on there um yeah but no i definitely i definitely saw like huge like you can you can have videos blow up pretty easily on that but uh i just stopped doing it and i'm i'm convinced that you know if i stick to it for a while and if anyone sticks to it they'll eventually grow on other platforms because people will eventually watch you um so yeah because like that's it, awesome especially when you do like very informative content or if you do um all right, class setup anything, videos or something. Yeah, class setup. You do like just sniping clips. Even with sniping clips, I mean, you'll get people that say you're reverse boosting, but like if they're smart enough, they, if they do the research, they can find out that you're nasty as a player. Yeah, and if they go over to your YouTube and see that you have all these videos, or they watch you stream and stuff, uh, like that's the biggest thing is seeing growth transfer over to like Twitch and stuff. If you can go from 20 average viewers to 50 average viewers, like that's a that's some actually like, good growth. Um, yeah and i've seen um i don't know if you remember face mew he used to mm -hmm. when he used to play fortnite like religiously um i mean he doesn't much he just plays whenever he feels like it but uh yeah he has one point or i think yeah all i remember is last time i checked is like a hundred percent over a million followers on tiktok and Oof. every single day he was averaging over a thousand it was fuck no host that's all i was like holy like, shit i'm like i'm at almost I would say 76k right now and damn like, if i was the, yeah so if i was at like maybe 200k 300k like i know that would translate into the other platforms but yeah. if i was at a million holy sheesh well you have to think too Seventy-six thousand people follow you on tiktok if you just made a twitch tomorrow if you got the smallest percentage of that you would have probably over 100 active viewers yeah, I mean, I don't, the thing is, like, I rarely promote my other social media platforms, uh -huh. unless it's, like, on my Twitch, like, when I'm live, but yeah. when it comes to, like, TikTok, I don't promote it, like, which I was thinking about it, but I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't, like, I don't want to fuck with the algorithm, because when you go live, apparently, TikTok doesn't like it when you promote other social media platforms, it's the same thing on, like, every social media platform, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Mm -hmm. or whatever like like you promote something they're just like nah 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 you stand on this platform i'm like oh, all right like yeah yeah that's why i don't really want to fuck with it too much yeah but you're you're already partnered on twitch and everything so you you got it you got it pretty good how how long have you been partnered uh i think it was it's for two years now i think it was like a year oh, after I joined shit Twitch. yeah oh shit you've been partnered for a while yeah um what was it? So you've been in store for over two years. Twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen, September twenty second. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah, I remember Did the you... exact day because uh, <laughs> it's in my like it's a, it's a command in my chat. So like, cause every time someone asks, I'm like, oh, just do extra info just in case I forget. Yeah. But now like I keep cause I when I when someone says it and I read mm -hmm. it, I'm like, oh, it's September twenty second. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah. Um. Were you like live streaming when you got announced or something? Do you remember? Um, when I got announced, I think I was streaming that day, but then I ended up hosting Thief because he was the one that was going to announce the next the next mm. recruit. Yeah. So I was like, you know, <clears throat> just to hype it up when I sure, uh, sure, it would sure. make sense. And then all of a sudden, like he's like, "All right, guys, um, I'm announced to recruit in like one minute," and I'm like, "Oh shit, here we go!" And I was a Discord call with all my friends and. 
out of nowhere he goes Zephy I'm like oh shit like that's me <laughs> <laughs> walking to sore I was like fuck yes let's go but I was oh, like I, I was my friends were more hyped than me because I was just they're all screaming in the background I'm just like quiet as hell <laughs> yeah that's awesome but, yeah but I was excited and um yeah I still have the clip of it I think I think it's on my Twitter somewhere I gotta find it <clears throat> that's awesome yeah yeah man that's that's cool and uh I think a big goal for uh, a lot of people who are like, I've seen so many people start streaming just in the last couple months, just from Cold War, you know, because mm -hmm. no one was making videos and streaming, really making content for when Modern Warfare was out. But as soon as Cold War came out, everyone started jumping on it. I, I've seen in the sniping community, at least. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. So I've I seen a lot of people grow. I think that like people are starting to understand and slowly realize that like, like there's mm. opportunities out there for us to grow because like we mm -hmm. feel like I feel like we've been plateaued for so many years like we just been yes. going like 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 this yes. like on a slow decline exactly so finding new people um and being able to touch into a new audience is great and especially like especially for modern warfare mm -hmm. I think that game I think a lot of people sleep on the fact that that game has recycled the Sami community a lot because if you think about like creators like face kitty playing snd now you go on snd yep. you you come across a sniper and i can guarantee you they've never heard of teams like 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 raw you know yep. x gen or fucking you they know only, know, they teams only or know even face kitty <laughs> yeah only face kitty and phase right or yes maybe maybe sore may that's a maybe um yeah, yeah, and yeah. then like they would they would know face kitty squad um sure. And it, it's just a whole new community. And that made me realize, I was like, wow, there's way more opportunity than I couldn't even imagine. Uh -huh. So, no, so there's, that game is, is is something for sure. Yeah, there, <clears throat> that game definitely uh, helped a lot of people grow. And I think Black Ops with Cold War coming out, because it's, it's a, you know, in terms of like sniping community, it's a, a good sniping game. I, I liked Modern Warfare as a whole game. I know the sniping was looked down upon. But the, as a whole game, the gunplay, everything about it was really good. Um, in terms of like sniping for content, though, I don't know. But as far as like Cold War, since everyone's liking it, I see so many people coming out of the woodwork, you know, actually streaming, making videos. And it's cool to see. But uh, yeah, you're right. Like there's so many people out there who've never heard of any of this like sniping side that like the multi call the old side and who are probably would love to watch some people play uh it just depends on what they start creating you know what kind of videos you make oh yeah for sure and i think it's gonna be a while until like i mean for people to <clears throat> just see that other side like that we used to play like back in the day because i would get kids yeah. so that would be like oh zephy like when did you start playing cod in my head i'm thinking like i'm so used to people knowing me from modern warfare 2 but now yeah. i'm like seeing a whole <laughs> new audience i'm just like Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm, I'm growing, so of course I'm gonna get these questions. <laughs> yep. Um, I, I streamed yesterday, and I had a guy who came in. He's like, "I'm new to Call of Duty. Um, what do you think? What do you think about this game? And like, just stuff like that. It's like, it's there's so many people out there who are just now getting into like watching content and stuff that you know it's branching out of your the small community that we've you know we we know most of the people in this small community as far as like the old multi cod stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. And I think that like, I, like I know there's some toxic motherfuckers in in, in the old gen community, but oh yeah, uh, you know, it, like they just gotta realize, bro. Like we're recycling the community out here, and we're like, you know, getting people that are new, and we gotta welcome them. We can't just you know shit on them for for saying the wrong term for a clip because mm -hmm. I I be seeing that a lot, and I thought about making a video of uh just explaining like, hey, this is a quad feed, hey, this is a five on, this is a triple. Don't call it a three on. <laughs> just it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, that a lot. I've gotten. I've never gotten. Uh, I don't know how, what the word is. But I've never gotten like too like upset or uptight. Like I, people are get so upset about certain phrases. Like I've never gotten so too like upset about people calling like a three up or something like that. Like eh, I think that's yeah. so petty. That's so petty, man. Like. I don't know. A lot of a lot of people take this stuff too seriously, even to this day. I've, at this point, you know, it's not the same. 
community that we've we're in in like 2013 you know making big Taj is like we have it's all like content based nowadays so i feel like people can just chillax a little bit oh yeah for sure um but like i like i i like i said i thought about making a video just to like help them and like inform them so that way like they don't get confused because uh -huh. like because some people would be like oh what's what's that or what's this and like you know what i mean like people would just don't yeah yeah so kind of like, like explaining better. it Exactly. And then people would comment shit on you for like, oh, well, yeah. why do you even have to explain this? <laughs> it's like, like dude, I'm being a nerd about it. I'm like, I'm just <laughs> exactly. Them, bro, relax. <laughs> You're like calling people a nerd. Oh my gosh. Marvel, triple headshot, one kill bullet, no misses. Exactly. That's, that's, that's the good old days back when people referred to everything as like just simple, simple feeds and stuff. But yeah, there's so many people in this community and it's, it's crazy because you can really, not really blow up overnight. I mean, you can, but like you can really grow from all these different, different avenues now with uh, videos. I mean, I saw a guy who blew up. He has like 50,000 subs on YouTube um, and he started making videos when Cold War came out and he just started making uh, zombies videos. And all he does is show you how to rank up zombies guns, like get like camos. And mm -hmm. it's just a video of him playing zombies for like 10 minutes straight and he got like 50,000 views from it and I was like this is crazy 50,000 holy shit uh 50,000 subscribers my bad um, oh damn yeah 50,000 subscribers it's but he's, he got like 300,000 views from using the Barrett in zombies just unlocking dark dark ether or something like that that's fun. uh but yeah there's a lot of different ways you can you can grow and uh i need to jump on tiktok it sounds like i mean i talked to rockstar when he was on the podcast and he has 100k on tiktok yeah and uh <laughs> and he told me this was months ago when he was on he told me you gotta jump on and i was like okay and i never did <laughs> and now i'm regretting it but yeah like i i i was the same way um I forgot who it was. I think it was Mew or something. Like he was like, "Yeah, bro, get on the TikTok wave." I'm like, "Okay." I'm like, I started, you know, messing with it a little bit. Uploaded a couple clips here and there. Had a, like, I think I had three clips, and then or no, I don't know what, what was I doing. I don't know. I, I was doing some cringy like skits, whatever, because you know, I, yeah, you know me and how my personality is. And then eventually, I was like, "All right, let me upload some clips now." So I uploaded mm -hmm. clips. Um, three clips in had one of them didn't pop off much, but it had some sort of traction. And it uh -huh. had like a couple of comments saying, "Oh, he's reverse boosting," or "Oh, he's uh, got bot lobbies." And I was like, "Sure, sure, sure." I was like, <laughs> "Okay, like, sure." I, I was like, I, "I guess like you could expect that." So I was like, "I'm gonna post more." And then I I made a post. So like I saw, I saw Remini have a post. Um, he had his like webcam and his like, uh, it was like a circle, and then like the gameplay like like zoomed in so that way it can fit the phone screen. Mm -hmm. And then like like the background um blurred or something. Yeah, blurred. Yeah. So I, yeah. I did that format. And then I was like, what if I made, you know, uh scope started it, so I'm gonna give him credit for this, where you put like back to back to back to back like multis, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, what if I just did that but on TikTok? So I was like, all right, let me try it. Boom. One million views. I was like, holy yeah. fucking shit. Yes. And then I, and then I tried doing it again. Well, I didn't, I don't think I did it again because I didn't have enough clips to make another one, but um, yeah. I just started posting and posting and posting. Next mm -hmm. thing you know, like I started finding more creators. Um, I the Twitch started growing, and then I came across um, I came across Marie, which is how she got recruited. Uh, and then I came across uh, what's his fucking name? This other dude, Zef, uh, and another guy, mm -hmm. um, uh, Ghosty. Fucking yeah. a, a lot of people, man. A lot of big creators out there. Yeah, that's awesome. Insane. I've seen, I've seen so many people. All right, so Pavs, he's an Obey. Um, he he started TikTok and he's making videos and he yeah, had I was just one. Looking at his TikTok yesterday. <laughs> yeah, he he went. He grew like twenty thousand followers in like a week or something. So, something crazy, some crazy number just from uh, one video hitting a million views and the video was like a class setup video or something like that. And then there's yeah, another like, video where like someone in game chat was like he's not in phase or something and then he like hits a clip like it's the most simple like content you know we spend hours editing videos and then you can upload like a 10 yeah, second I was, clip i was gonna mention that too like we <laughs> spent so many hours working oh, on montages I hate like that. I, days and days you know we're grinding fucking trying to hit a, a fucking five on whatever just to get the clip in or trying to get the closer or the opener 
And yeah. by the end of the year, boom, montage. Just what? For us to get, what, 2,000, 3,000 views on it when we could just <sighs> post a simple clip on TikTok, get a million and fucking yep. quadruple them on the group, man. I was like, what the fuck are we doing, man? We need exactly, to recycle our dude. shit. We need to start waking up. <laughs> no, seriously. It's it's a whole new era. Like, montages, I mean, they're, they're fun to watch. Like, we're going to enjoy them, like me and you. But, like, yeah. the vast majority are like, what is this boring stuff? I just want to watch a one single clip. <laughs> exactly. And like, the thing is, like, I'm still going to do montages, like, once a year. Like, my best shit. And then put uh -huh. it together. Like, last year I didn't because, like, Modern Warfare is kind of, you know, kind of weird. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. um yeah for sure every once a year for like a big one no for sure but uh even like old stuff like old multi-cod clips even blow up on on tiktok so zelta who who uh is also in obey he uploaded a clip I, yeah it, it was like on marfa 2 right on favela i think yes at like that, 40k views or some shit yeah it blew up well he uploads a lot of them he so some of them are like remember the barrett from cod 4 and then he uploads like a pc sl and he hits like a six on and then everyone's <laughs> like this is insane but like it's like stupid clips like that that are just uh you can upload them and people are just are like wow it, it's crazy you can blow up a lot on tiktok and i i yeah, definitely am I sleeping about, on it I was thinking about recycling my old clips and put it on TikTok and see what happened. Exactly. Um, no, do it. Do it. I trust me. It's it's gonna at least one of them's gonna blow up for sure. It, it, you know what's funny is that that when I was looking at the, the comment section on the um OJN clips, I, I don't I like I don't know if maybe I did come across one, but like I rarely see bot lobby comments. It's usually for like the newer CODs because of the skill based matchmaking. Because yeah. there was no like skill based matchmaking back in the day, which is like, you know, whatever connection or whatever server, not server, I guess you could say server, uh, ping that you were closer to, you would connect to. So, like, if someone was host on Modern for Two on like West Coast, mm -hmm. you have a better chance of joining them than someone in East Coast. And, like, man, it was, yeah, it was insane when I was looking through the comments. I was like, wow, like, like people don't acknowledge that. Like, because like, <laughs> there, there, there'll be times, you know, when you hop on Modern for Two early in the morning, right? You get bot lobbies, like, Oh, it's every that's morning the too. demonic demonic hours yes and well actually no demonic hours would be at night but like the best time to get clips is like in the morning so mm -hmm. and even in the morning like the the dudes are like what not even cracked out and now nah, they're still and, asleep yeah so they're they're like slumped on the on the chair you know just barely game in so <laughs> yes and you're hitting clips on them and no one really is like suspects that it only suspects like on the newer cards so i think that's that's obviously yeah. interesting yeah, definitely for the newer CODs with skill-based matchmaking. The, they, I understand why they implemented it, because they want the newer players to not feel like they're getting destroyed like we used to. But at the same time, they're opening it up to more avenues where people can get just get around it. So yeah. they should just take it out, in my opinion. Because I think that like skill-based matchmaking, it, I can see why they have it just because like for marketing purposes because like sure. we've been around for so long like like because i thought about it uh, like deeply and we've been around for so long you know we were around for like minimum 10 years right so mm -hmm. when we play a new cod we're adapting fast like we're, you know what i mean we know the spawns we know the map we know the layout we know you know the routes you know how to like head glitch you know where all the bombs are at you know what i mean like all or, those or the little flash. details that we've yeah, learned we go over so the years. in detail exactly so like when we change to a new cod we it only takes us what about like a week or two Yep. And then the newer kids that come in, they they fucking take in a whole ass year just to understand the damn spawns. Like, oh spawns, oh I didn't I didn't know about that. Like exactly. Like when you spawn on checkmate, you already know. Like when you die, you spawn in, you already know that's a spawn. Boom, immediately, right? Yes. Because like, we know that, right? And then it's, we go, like, we know so to cap two flags to hold a spawn trap, drop hundred kills on them, and they're struggling. So like like that in that sense, I can I one hundred percent get it. But at the same time, like I know like back then we did get our ass kicked when we first started playing cod but like i don't think we were getting our ass kicked maybe that much like mm -hmm. i don't know maybe because you know because we adapted over the years so i mean skill-based matchmaking i can understand but at the same time i feel like it's such a poison for content because now people are saying like oh you're reverse boosting and you don't get the credit you deserve for like hitting a clip and a sweaty ass lobby you know like, yeah. like you get three kills or two three kills they're not even looking at you and then the extra two kills for the five on, you know, they're spraying at you and they're like, nah, 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 nah. What's his KD? What, what, what lobby is he going in? How is he, wh who, who's he playing with? You know, is he two boxing? Like, like <sighs> yeah, just it's, pull it's up to constant. the stream and just watch, bro. Like, it's constant and yeah, it's nonstop. And even then, like, 
like what you were saying though, because like, you know, it's so subconscious for us when we're playing, we're constantly like looking for the spawn. But you have to think of what if so, someone just comes on the game first time ever, just just playing it. They don't know any of that. And now that we're talking about it, what if you what if someone made a video? Doesn't even have to be on YouTube. It could be on anything. But just explaining all that little details, like explaining what a head glitch is, explaining what a spawn is, explaining all that, because people honestly don't know. Like people who just start the game don't know all that. Yeah, and another thing is that like we have you know social media or even you know just youtube or even tiktok in general to be able to like like inform these new guys you know like we're like exactly. okay we can, like we have so many videos on the internet including youtube obviously that just teaches them how to play the game what class setups to use where's the spawns how to play the map you know all these little things that you can learn and within like one hour and yes. they could just be the better player just by learning these things and I actually haven't seen that type of content on TikTok yet where people explain like for, from a sniper's aspect or even, you know, a red gunner, people explain like on the flat, like you hold two flags on domination and like just showing on the map where a spawn would be, you know, stuff like that. I think mm -hmm. that could also honestly be good, informative, like content for, you know, TikTok more opposed to YouTube because I, I kind of low key tried that. Um, did you not like, like, mm, kind of? Um, I remember I, I made a TikTok, it was a Modern Warfare. I said, uh, something along the lines, this is how you improve your sniping, uh, mm -hmm. 101. And then I was like, okay, so like I was breaking down a clip of how I, how I went around the corner and I popped out like a five on time suit with a car 98, um, on Modern Warfare. And I was like, okay, so I got this guy. I was like, I no scoped him because no scoping is faster than zooming in. So I no scoped in. I turn a 180 because I know the spawns are going to be down low. And yeah. I was like, I'm running, running, running. And I get this guy. So I pre aim him because I knew he was coming around the corner based on my UAV. And I'm like, I, I broke it down <laughs> so in detail. And I was like, I went to this pillar and to go take cover. And then I went left and right so I could juke him out because I went right first because the enemy is going to think that I'm going to come on the head glitch, but I'm not. I'm on the pillar. And then. I killed him. I went yeah. to the left of the pillar because the guy that just saw me is going to think I'm going to repeat the same spot on the right side of the pillar, but I went left. And then, like, I went, bro, I went crazy in detail. And then, um, yeah, we that, do that all that. like 40K. So I was like, okay, fuck <laughs> it. That didn't do too bad. We do all that subconsciously. Like, it, it's actually crazy thinking about it because when we're playing, all we do, it's just natural for us. You know, it's secondhand. Looking yeah. at the map, like moving, like this guy goes there, I'm going to go here. We do all that subconsciously, but once we break it down, if, if we feel like geniuses, you know? <laughs> yeah, we're like, damn, we just did all that. We just didn't think about it, like, oh shit, I feel gas. <laughs> I know, I feel like a fucking genius. I, I don't know why I can't take a written test, but I can outplay people in a 6v6 map. Yeah, uh, and, and sometimes, you know, you do it, like, like obviously on stream, you're just autopiloting, you know, you're just reading chat. And then like, you look back in the game, you're like, All right, I'm gonna do this, 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 like, and then you're, you're talking at the same time. And then yeah. and people think you're fucking insane. You're just like, I don't know. Just when you play 10 years, it just, it becomes a habit. <laughs> yes. And you have to understand too, there are people who get on the game for the first time. And obviously they're, they're in the really bad lobbies uh, because of this, but they're still getting used to holding a controller. And if you can market to those people who are on TikTok, but and they're still like learning everything about the game, like just the smallest little details that we don't even think about, uh, the smallest little details, like just tips and tricks for stuff like that. Yeah, because um, some people pick up the controller and immediately start playing Claw. I'm like, uh, when I put the pick the controller, God, I just yeah. play it like like a normal human being. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> no, understand. No, no trifecta <laughs> shit. I don't understand the Claw. That's still insane to me. I, mean, I can do it. It's not a. It's not hard. It's just like I feel like my index finger would be like fucked up after yeah. maybe a few months or so. I don't know. I don't have that latex fingers. You know what's fucking crazy? On COD Four, Zergers used to play Southpaw Legacy or something. Legacy Southpaw. Oh yeah, I remember that. Does he still play Southpaw? I have no idea. <laughs> so who fun. knows? I, I would be surprised. Dude, Legacy Southpaw in that game was so weird. I, I, don't, I don't understand why. Chiefs plays inverted? No way. That's crazy. One of the coolest clips I ever saw on 
on COD was it was a War to War clip where he hit a quad feed and he was playing on lefty. <laughs> lefty. And if you ever Wait. play lefty, I it, think I saw a clip on from him on Instagram because I remember he be he he was like growing on Instagram. Um, the time when I started put on Instagram was like around mm -hmm. B04. And he was titling his Instagram clips like inverted, insane. It was something like insane BO4 sniping inverted highlights, mm -hmm. something like that. And then like it just blew up. People were like, how do you play inverted? And he was like, I don't know. I just I just picked up the controller and I just started playing that way. So Yeah. It's crazy. It is crazy. I could never I could never because we we're already, you know, programmed to play, you know, how we've been playing for all these years. To change it up would be crazy for me. Yeah, oh, I feel that. <clears throat> but yeah, I think marketing to like the newer audience on TikTok is definitely the way to go. I, I need to start doing that because, you know, there's you can only go so far just uploading on YouTube. I mean, it's not like you blow up like you can on TikTok. Yeah, exactly. And I, I remember um, when people were worried about TikTok like shutting down because, um, you know, the whole. Yeah, that was weird. The whole, I don't know. It was some crazy shit. And stuff with China and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, you know. Even if it's shutting down, I'm still gonna post, <laughs> just because like I already know this platform is like the crazy amount of, and you know, uh, of audience, new audience, and to be able to recycle that and yeah, yeah. I, I remember a few friends that were worried about. It. I was like, oh, what if they shut down again? I'm like, dude, listen, you, you can make a post that hits one million. You can get like what an extra hundred to two hundred new followers to your Twitch. Oh yeah. The next day, man, like you oh, might yeah. as well just take advantage. No, one hundred percent. And I'm kind of upset that I haven't been doing that, but. Um, ever since, you know, ever since December 31st, when Scope joined FaZe, for some reason, me and I'm sure a lot of other people have been pretty motivated, you know, just in general, in the community, you know, seeing him actually achieve this monumentous goal that, you know, we've, he's been going for all this time. And it just gave a lot of people hope that, you know, maybe if I put in more effort on this, I will, you know, achieve it, stuff like that. So I yeah. think... Uh, I think that's a cool thing, and I think TikTok's definitely a new wave that can reach an audience bigger than anything. Like, TikTok's actually the... I, I'm pretty sure it's the best way to reach, you know, the most amount of people out of all the platforms. Oh, for sure, for sure. Because no, you know, no Instagram or tweet or youtube video no nothing does those numbers i think that's definitely the biggest audience it might it might be an audience under the age of 18 but <laughs> it's, it's a lot yeah. of little kids for sure but still oh yeah like you click on someone's profile on tiktok they're more than likely going to be under the age of like 18, yeah 100 percent. and that's kind of one of the reasons i think he was going to get banned or whatnot but i don't know yeah i don't know world's changing <clears throat> TikTok algorithm is so good. It is. It, it's weird. It's probably so good because it was like something to do with the Chinese, man. They're they're always one step ahead of everything for some reason. Just technology based. Yeah, that that bro, I don't know what it is, but like want to hear shit about technology and like, you know, Elon Musk. I'm just so fucking fascinated as of recently. Mm -hmm. Or well, not recently, like the past couple of years. Because mm -hmm. like we're advancing so fast right now. It's like in the blink of an eye, man. Like, like I, like yesterday, right? No, not yesterday. It was, I don't know. It was recently. Uh, I was looking back at my, our old videos, you know, like like when we go back, you know, in the, and when Faze started blowing up, mm -hmm. we were on 720p. Now 720p is even, isn't even considered HD on, yep. on YouTube anymore. Yes. And I'm like, damn, like these videos used to be high quality. Now it's just like, I feel like I'm looking at a potato. Like, what the I fuck? Know. Like, am I tripping? When we, when we remember watching it, like, to us, it was like us watching 1440p right now. But back yeah. then, back then, like we thought it was super high quality. Um, I know exactly what you're talking about because the other day I went back and watched one of the first DLC maps for World at War. The World at War trailer got uploaded for a zombies map. And I went back and watched it and it was only 360p. And I couldn't see anything. And I was so confused because it was it's like the actual... Treyarch trailer, whatever, like the official one. And I was watching it, and I was like, "Dude, I can't, I can't see anything." But I remember back then watching it, and it was crystal clear in my eyes. So it's so weird. <laughs> That's it's, weird. It is Unless really weird. YouTube like downgraded because I, I feel like they did downgrade the quality, low key. Like, 
Yeah, I mean, YouTube, the worst is Twitter. I don't know what the fuck Twitter does. When, when you upload a video to Twitter, I don't know why. It just craps the quality out. Oh, yeah, Twitter. Oh, hell. I'm, dude, I'm surprised they haven't fixed that yet. I know, because when I upload a video to Twitter, it's crystal clear right before I tweet it. And then once I tweet it, it goes all pixelated. Yeah, because I, I, I think yeah. it's because, like, when you're on mobile or even uh -huh. even on on. on even desktop? on the web client, yeah, on desktop, um, it's like it's like it's trying to re-download, like, like you, because you know how like you, when you're watching the clip, it downloads to your internet, or you know, um, mm -hmm. and like you're watching it, and it's like it's basically retrying to do that, and you try to watch it again from the start, and it just still looks pixelated as fuck. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm surprised they haven't like fixed that. They, they brought out stories, you know, and fucking barely anybody uses that, mm -hmm. but they haven't fixed that. So I hope they fix it soon. <clears throat> Or sometime in the future. Yeah, I, I hear a lot of stuff like people like YouTube and Twitter like kind of just compresses the video and it's just it just makes it bad quality. I don't know why we can't take a video from our desktop, upload it, and it be the same quality. I don't know. Eventually, we'll reach that point. I'm hope. Yeah, yeah. Um, something cool that I just found out recently um, from Elon Musk, and this is actually something that you know could affect and help out a lot of people is he he uh he's doing satellite internet now where he has a satellite internet yeah program. i've heard about that actually so my girlfriend lives out on a farm in the country and they don't they like they have zero signal the only internet they can get is from HughesNet, which is satellite internet and it's just really bad but this new Elon Musk satellite internet is supposed to be super, super good. So I'm I'm eager to see how that plays out in the next year or two. Yeah, cause, yeah, I heard that he's trying to put in uh, places where like there's no internet, and I'm yep. like out here with Cox Cable Man <clears throat> fucking struggling on like pack a loss. So I mean, if he hits it in my, oh my area, bro, we'll send. <laughs> I'm man. So you, shit. are you? Do you have trouble with internet? Oh, dude, I've been having a lot of trouble with internet for like the past. I, I don't even know, like, <clears throat> since the beginning of, of, of time, like, <laughs> that, ever since, <clears throat> I would say since I was in high school, um, I would have a lot of days where I'm just not able to stream because it'll pack a loss, and then that would fuck up my consistency. Like, let's say, for an example, I would be able to stream for two hours, and all of a sudden, like, boom, pack a loss. I'm like, like, why? Wow. Like, why, dude? Like, I'm, I'm having a good time, and especially, like, if I get hosted, you know, like, uh -huh. some big streamer hosts me, and then boom boom gone like damn that bro. sucks sucks yeah so what what is your upload and download upload is 35 to 40 40 on a good day one gig Golly. on a download yeah and it's crazy because like it's like you know what i mean like it's really good yeah but that even is then, really it was so shit on me but now so it, as recently you, knock on wood it's been treating me really good recently so i, I don't want to fuck anything up so you, your problem isn't like you have great speed your problem is it just shits out on you yeah, like it's not like like because you know when you have packets, you know information that goes from one server to another because you mm -hmm. you know you're going from you to your internet provider and yeah. to the uh, servers, right? Yeah. Call of Duty servers or you know the streaming servers, and so uh, from you to your internet provider, there's like information that's being lost because it's like an overdrive through the cable lines, which goes out through the streets that you share with other people around your neighborhood so yeah. if someone in your neighborhood is watching like in the no-no videos you know what i mean or downloading something <laughs> going but absolutely berserk right yeah or like they're on zoom calls which is reason why like you know with this, oh, this pandemic it's uh, been absolute worse for me like oh my god that was are you in a congested two... area yeah yeah so Oof. um yeah. It, yeah, it, it was terrible. It kept fucking on my consistency. And now, like, now I'm able to, you know, stream just fine daily. Like, now oh, I'm yeah. noticing a lot, lot better growth. So I was like, man, I was like, I told my own chat, I was like, listen, as soon as this shit is over, I promise you I'm going to be flying. Now I'm flying. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Uh, so for me, I've had recent, like, I have, what, what do I have? I have, like, 400 download and 100 upload, so... It, that's, that's not bad. That's, that's, that's good. no, that's perfect. Because people, yeah. people get, people get like these internet companies when they sell you like a hunt one gig download, two hundred upload. What like that? That's such a random thing. You don't need that download, and 
that upload's perfect for like a lot of people, but people yeah. get lost in the numbers. If I can have 200 download, 100 upload, I'm fine. Um, yeah, I think I think like the reason why they would have more demand on download is because like a lot of people are watching like YouTube and Netflix nowadays. But so, you don't, you only need like 15 download for Netflix, yeah. I'm sure. I would just yeah, I would assume so unless like you have like a shit ton of people like watching in the house. Um, yeah. And that, and that used that to happen a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that would, honestly, that would just fuck up the internet. Um, yeah, do you like guys remember the days? Though, oh, go uh, ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say for streaming, like, you only need tops, like, 10, like, 10, 12 upload. Yep, exactly. So, like, which is which is another reason why I said, like, it, there's no reason for me to have any, like, uh, pack a loss because mm -hmm. my upload's, like, 35 to 40. So... I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense why I'm at, not able to stream like 1080p, 60 frames a second on like the max quality on Twitch. So yeah. That that shit was. Oh my god, that shit was frustrating. Now you're partnered, um, so you can you might be able to tell me this. When you get partnered, that are you able to stream at a higher quality? I heard something about this where like people who aren't partnered can't do like certain like it's not as good quality. Something something around those lines. I don't know if that's exactly the case. But once you're partnered, it opens you up to a higher quality of stream. Is, is that have any ability to that? Uh, I've heard that. I've heard about that. But like, because I know I stream at 1080p, 60 FPS at 6,000 bit rate. And I know I was able to do that when I was an affiliate a few, mm. a few years ago. So like, I don't know if, if I'm missing out on something or what, but I don't. So I, don't I know when I. So. Like right now, I'm streaming 1080p 30. When I stream 1080p 60, I do get a lot of pixelation on my streams. But you is know, that right at 6,000? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. So I don't know if there's any validity to that, but I know uh, I can't stream 60 when I play because of it just makes my whole stream pixelated. Um, mm -hmm. But I can stream 30 FPS at 6K bitrate all the time, but who knows? Interesting. Who knows? Buzzro says uh, if you stream six K bitrate before you're a partner, it's it can it is not as consistent, and you get pixelation. So that might be the case. Who knows? I don't know. Um, I didn't know about that. <clears throat> that, that, that kind of blows my mind because like when I was affiliate, I would always stream seven twenty p sixty fps just because like my internet just. As soon as I hit 1080, he's like, oh, nope, sorry. I'm like, yeah. all right, we'll, we'll keep it at seven twenty then. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. Do you guys, I'm sure everyone in the chat remembers the days back on like MW2, Black Ops 2, stuff like that, when uh, when we're playing and then someone gets on the internet and it just slows us down, puts us on a two bar. Like, golly, every time I used to play. Dude, that would piss me off so bad. <laughs> I know. Every time I used to play and someone watched Netflix in my house, it would literally put me on a two bar and I couldn't play. It was so annoying. Yeah, I remember um, my my mom would be on like a Skype call with like a family member over overseas, mm -hmm. and I, I I would be gaming Modern Warfare two, and I, I as soon as I start lagging, I go straight down. So I was like, "Mom, are you on Skype?" <laughs> and she's like, "Yes." I'm like, "Can you hop off for a second? I'm I'm in the middle of something. Like just maybe like an hour or two. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, dude. I, I had to ask her, bro. She was funny. I I hated I hated internet problems and it, people nowadays. Kids will never understand the internet problems we used to have because oh, dude. <laughs> internet now is so much better. Like we, Bro. I used to have like 10 download, one upload. Like you can't even play yeah. on that. Yeah, I was on the same boat too, bro. AT&T, <clears throat> DSL, internet, man, fucking. My shit was, bro, it was so bad that like I was on 0 0.4 upload and Ooh. a five download. That's like the worst <laughs> of the worst internet I've ever been on. And you can't like, even watch right. Netflix. <laughs> yeah, you can't even watch shit. You can't, you can't even do shit. All you can do is like, what, browse what, Google? Like, man, what the fuck I'm going to do with Google? Come on <laughs> now. What, how to, what, what, how to uh, what, fix my internet? Fuck, nah, man. And then um, I remember I had a, I think I had a Galaxy S3 phone back in like mm -hmm. 2016 or yeah. 2015. And I was like, man, I'm curious on how my internet speed or, you know, my hotspot would be. Man, my hotspot was better than my own internet. <laughs> I was like, man, oh, I'm gonna play on my hotspot more. <laughs> oh but then I realized gosh. I had a data, so then that capped out and it fucked up. So, oh, oh shit. Hey. 
she was that funny. Was the but days. I always remember. I, I don't know if you used to have. Uh, I actually I think on the Xbox Arcade. Do you remember the wireless adapters that we had to buy just to get on the internet? Yeah, to plug into the back of it. Yeah, dude, and yep. then it had like little antennas on the. Ball. Yes, oh, <laughs> the white one. <laughs> It, you plug it in, and it has that green light that turns on. Yep, yep. Did, Dude, did the Xbox Arcade old. have an Ethernet port, or did you have to use the USB like adapter? I'm not sure. Um, the original, the, the Xbox 360, the white one, had Ethernet. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it had Ethernet. So I don't know. I don't know. I think I. I don't know what happened to mine. I, I used to have the arcade, but. Really, I had I had two of them. One was at my dad's, one was at my mom's. Um, but I still have my my the slim in my closet right now. Still, oh it's shit, building really? up dust. Yeah, yeah. I I have my Xbox One X, my Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty Slim, the black one, mm. uh, and then my PlayStation Three, and that's it. That's I'll, all you I know got. Crazy. I was about to buy. I was really close about to buy an xbox one x and a ps4 pro back in like world wars 2 just because like I, I felt like i was missing out with 4k quality but oh, yeah. this entire time dude like no, three years later i wasn't missing shit bro you that weren't was missing still in, like, anything in beta bro <laughs> yeah so i bought this x1 xbox one x to play like for the sole purpose of playing 4k um when red dead redemption 2 came out so i can play that in 4k on mm. my 60 inch 4k tv and i'm super happy i did because it that game was it that game was awesome in 4k but as far as like playing wise i think playstation the the uh <clears throat> especially for call of duty you have like a lot more people on playstation than call than xbox did for lobbies and stuff like world war ii is still highly highly populated on war on uh PS4 because of like free it's free to download and stuff like that. Is the Modern Warfare Master mm -hmm. free to download on PS4 still? I have no idea. I I never had a PS4 so I don't know. Cuz I remember um when the game went free and I was like, "Ooh, obviously there's going to be lobbies, right?" So I was like, "All right." Uh -huh. you know, so I ran it on that game for like a day. And I was just hitting clips left and right. I was dropping high kill games. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? This game's sick as fuck. Yeah. I was like, man, I'm missing out. But then I remember on the Xbox One on Modern Warfare Remastered, I was getting my ass handed to every lot. Maybe because like, like, I I don't know. Maybe I just sucked at the game and I just didn't understand how to play it. No, I think but I just feel like yeah, I just feel like I was getting my shit mocked by like M16s every single lobby. And then when I went yeah. on the PS4, like a few years later. So casual. Bro, that was, it was the easiest shit in my life. I was like, bro, I'm fucking... Yep. I was hitting clips left and right, man, and and I don't know if it was because of PS4, or maybe because, you know, the game's free and it's, you know, free to everyone, but... God, yeah. man. I, like, if I could if I could re, like, relive that or experience that again, shit, man, sign me up. That, that shit was fun. I know, I know. And I went back to Modern Warfare last year, MW 2019, to play multiplayer yesterday, and I've noticed there are there are only two people on the game. The people wow. who never got off and no, not like two in general. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's only there's only two types of players on the game. The people who never got off and they're really try hard or the people who just bought the game and they're still learning how to play. Like there's no in between casual players. There's only the noobs and the tryhards. Damn. That's what I noticed from a couple hours of playing it. That's but. crazy, like how how multi cod is like. I mean, I'm I'll, I would assume there'll be lobby still, but um, like how fast is just just dying down, especially for mm -hmm. Modern Warfare Two. Like when my boy Drew still plays it, he like the like the fact that it was like what like yeah a few months ago, I I tried finding a lobby and it was just like the hardest thing ever. I would spend like thirty minutes just sitting in the TDM like yeah. loading lobby. I'm like, damn, bro, like this game was backwards compatible it was so easy to find lobbies and then yep. all of a sudden boom shit hit the fan they didn't fix the servers now it's just like if yep. you're not east coast you can't find a lobby yeah uh i got on mw2 like four or five days ago on playstation 3 and the only thing you can find was like two team deathmatch lobbies like it's so hard to play those old games and they are pretty much dead at this point yeah it's unfortunate that we can't well, i mean like 
I think we should always advance forward, but at the same time, you know, it, it I, like I, I can always understand why people go back just to experience like I the know. old pods. It's so just like fun. it just like damn, that sucks. But you know, it's something we just got to get used to. Yeah, it sucks, but we'll we always remember the good old days, like that brings us back on the game. And I hope they release Modern Warfare Two Remastered multiplayer. I think that would be a great experience if they do that. Oh yeah, um, they so I think wow, fucking uh, uh, this guy Andy. Uh, Gun of TV on on Twitter, like he was supposed to make Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer, and I made a video about it too. Like I was like, "Yo, like I'll mm -hmm. gas this up, bro. Like I got you." I was like, "As long, listen, I was like, L as long you make this game good and you have my promise that an adventure is gonna be good, I'm sold, bro." I I was like, "Listen, I'll do it in a hundred bucks to you. I don't care. <laughs> like, just yeah. make this damn game good, please. Like the way that we all it's like a mod it. on PC." Yeah, so uh, he he sent out a few screenshots. He did like some alpha testing. I saw um, them, I think. Yeah, I was like, bro, as soon as it goes beta, I was like, I better be first in line. Like, that's my game, man. Like, I love that game so much. And right now, this video is sitting at 74k views. About to hit like 75k pretty soon here. So this motherfucker better finish it. But like, I know as of recently, uh, he lost a lot of people for the development team because I think um, I think they were weren't getting paid because it's like free volunteer. Oh, um, shit. So yeah, the the production is gonna be a lot slower now. So I think he's trying to rebuild it, and so he's like, just modding it, right? Yeah, it's, um, pretty sure. It's pretty it's sure. it's so cool that people have been able to do all this stuff on PC. So like the the plutonium servers, or no no IW4X on Modern Warfare Two, where yeah, you, with the COD Four, um, yeah, Cybers M40 and yeah, R2. like that shit's awesome because you can play like any map on any cod and like use any gun and like that shit's cool and i wish uh i wish that stuff like that would be made a little bit more mainstream so it'd be always be populated but if they could if he could finish modern warfare 2 and everyone starts making videos on it and it attracts more people that would be cool oh yeah like I, that game would just straight blow up but the, yes. i think the only problem is that it's pc only so i mean yeah. I, I don't know a lot of us already transferred over to pc but um i also heard that if you have the xbox one because i know xbox one is uh trying to like cross platform with steam i guess oh, really? and yeah so if if you have the xbox one and you want to play Modern Warfare 2 or master multiplayer there's there could be a chance that you might be able to play it oh shit yeah could so, be no, I, I i don't know that's just a rumor i heard hmm I just wish the actual developers would release it. Like, what is keeping them from doing that? I just, it's just so frustrating. I wish they would. Yeah, I, I wish they would as well. But I think the reason why they're holding it off. So, okay, so here's my two theories. One, they're probably holding it off until, like, they know COD is at, like, the deep down ditch. Like, no one wants to play their game anymore. I'm talking, like, like views on, on YouTube are like below 20,000 and Twitch is like below a thousand or some crazy shit like that. Yeah. Like, you know, you're able to pull a hundred K views on Cold War still, but I'm saying like, you know, like deep, deep down, like, like terrible, terrible. Well, the worst it's ever been. Then, then they probably would. So that's my, th my first theory. Second theory would be money. Um, yeah, you can say money. Um, or like, you know, you know how Modern Warfare came out last year, right? So yeah. obviously the next COD would be Modern Warfare 2. So there's maybe, <laughs> there's maybe a possibility. But I don't know. That, like, I is, don't, it, is that confirmed yet, Modern Warfare 2? I don't know. I mean, uh, I think Sledgehammer's re-announced that they're back with Call of Duty or something. I, 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 something like that. I don't know. So I think Sledgehammer's oh, going to make shit. the next COD. And after so, that, it's going to be... Oh, uh, what if... This next this year when they release COD, what if it is Modern Warfare Two, but it's like pretty much the old game, like maps and stuff. What they're what they're doing with Black Ops Cold War right now? They're releasing Express, they're releasing all that. What if they just do that sort of kind of the same thing? They have new maps, but then they release all the old recycled maps as well. Yeah, it could be a possibility. Um, because I like okay, so I know that with Cold War, they're going to be releasing a lot, a lot of old like like BO1 and BO2 maps, a mm -hmm. lot, like like two maps every season. Like that's a lot, and so like that they might say fucking just read. I don't know, recycle that for the next yeah. COD for Infinity Ward. 
Mm -hmm. I know Warzone is going to be their primary game. And I think maybe sometime around March, they're going to finally, you know, the uh, Cold War. I don't know if you played the Dirty Bomb maps where like it looks like a Warzone type of map, like a blackout. Yeah, they're bringing those to Warzone, aren't they? Yeah, so that's going to happen. And then I know that I think they're going to drift away from Modern Warfare and then make Modern Warfare 2 and then like implement some of those mechanics or something. Yeah. So, something like that. Um, Maybe. I gotcha. Uh, that, that may, I don't know. That That's just a rumor from what I've heard. But mm -hmm. like, I, I just hope they, they do something right and, and not fucking uh, plateau or, or dip down to a level where like we can't even make something out of what we love doing. Yeah. It would just suck, right? Like, like a lot of creators, like myself, you know, we we like rely on this game to to have content for us and be able to produce and make a living off of it. So it, sure, it's kind of sure, like sure. It, you know, you just shoot your shot into the dark and hope that this game is gonna be okay for the next who knows <laughs> three yeah. four years. I hope they don't release a freaking jetpack game again. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, it's crazy. Like, some, I've heard some people talk about they want to see a jetpack game again. I'm like, bro, the that last thing I want to see is, yeah, I feel like, I mean, BO3 was not bad. I W, the graphics were shit, but I think it played out okay. I think they realized from Sledgehammer's made an advanced warfare, right? Uh, maybe. I don't remember. I, I lost touch with all those games. Art. Um, yeah, yeah, so advanced warfare, I, I, the reason why I hated that cost so much is because, like, it didn't feel like Call of Duty, even though, like, you should, sure, it, it was fun to some people. Like, I think it was fun for me, but it just wasn't Call of Duty. Like, I felt like I was jumping exactly. 200 feet in the air, and I was just shooting motherfuckers. That, that, like, I'm like, dude, no one's on the ground, and everyone's in the air the whole entire time. I'm just like, yeah. man. Now, think about where Call of Duty would be if they never released those games and they just stuck with boots on the ground. Like, there, there could have been some really good games, I'm sure. Uh, but they just went years into like the exo jumps and all that. So <clears throat> I don't know. Um, another thing to think about, where would Call of Duty be right now if Warzone didn't exist? Because Modern Warfare multiplayer kind of flops. Oh, I'd be fucking dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it would There's be no dead. No shot, dude. No shot. Yeah. But then, I, you know, I think Warzone is kind of part of the reason why I feel some of the content is delayed. Uh, but then again, obviously, you know, you have to go through, uh, I don't know what the fucking keyword it is, but where you have to, the, where they have to send it to, like, an, they have to get it approved, and then they have to send out the updates. Like, they, it's a multi-step process instead of, like, having Fortnite where they can just update it whenever they want, like, w like weekly. Uh, sure. Like, Call of Duty is, like, once a month, I think, or something. I don't know. It's, it's a, apparently a long process. So, I think the... If Warzone wasn't around, I feel like we'd get a little bit more content. I don't know how much, but for sure more. Just, yeah. Just, you know, just a little bit more for multiplayer. And I think it'll be enjoyable a lot more. Yeah. But I don't think, you know, it, it would be an incredible amount of change. I think Warzone definitely took a big chunk of their time and like, you know, just they, they want to make content for Warzone as opposed to yeah. just sticking to everything multiplayer, which, you know, in, is, in pro, is in their best interest because Warzone's bigger than, you know, multiplayer. But at the same time, they're letting down like some of the fan base who just play multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, and, and sometimes I feel like when an update comes out, it's not even meant for multiplayer, it's just meant for straight Warzone. Back yeah. in warfare. Yeah, and I do think that if they didn't release Warzone and it, they just had multiplayer, mul or I'm sorry, Modern Warfare multiplayer last year, it definitely would have died by the time Cold War came out. Um, because if you look at like Twitch, there's days. Well, Warzone always has more viewers than Cold War, but uh, there's days where like Modern Warfare multiplayer pretty much has the same viewers on Twitch that Cold War has. And I just don't get that. Like, And then you click on the videos and it's mostly Search and Destroy. I think Search and Destroy blew up on that game. That game was really good for Search. I will give it that. Oh, yeah, because of the game chat feature. I think people talking <clears throat> shit kind of gave you that like MW2 type of vibes. Yes, yes. And yeah. it was totally... It, it, wasn't a, it wasn't the same feel as MW2, but like, it definitely... The shit-talking vibes were there and... uh 
Modern Warfare was a good game for Surge because I just I, I like the gunplay and uh, the final kill cam was always cool and stuff like that. Yeah, and like you were able to hit trick shots too, and I think like that game overall, like it was, it was it was perfect for for what it was. Um, Surge, for, yeah. Uh, yeah, for Surge, for Surge. Um, one hundred percent. For as far as like getting clips, I think that like hard point was the only thing that made it decently enjoyable. I think that's like the reason why. Mm -hmm. um like like that game was was bearable because if you play tdm man you playing gunrunner bro you were spending a whole <laughs> 10 minutes just getting 20 fucking kills 20 <laughs> yeah if you're lucky 20 oh my god and people are like I oh this game's that. enjoyable i was like there's no way you're telling me you're gonna spend 20 or 10 minutes getting 20 kills the game's not even fi fucking finished yet you tell me you're enjoying that. I'm like, nah, man, you captain. Yeah. But I think the only reason why that game was saved for multiplayer was Hardpoint, because a lot of people played Hardpoint. That was the only thing. I, like, you you watch a montage, every clip, Hardpoint. Yeah. yeah. As far as sniping goes, yeah, that game wasn't the best. Um, my favorite things on Modern Warfare was red gunning. I love playing Ground War. Huge-ass map. It felt like a Battlefield game. That was pretty fun. Search and destroy, and then uh, going for tactical nukes was a fun experience because it was so freaking hard. That's the hardest game to get a nuke on out of all Call of Duties. For Modern Warfare? <clears throat> yeah, 30 gun kills. Mm. By far the hardest game. I, I don't know. Because <laughs> I feel like I 30, struggle the other CODs. 30 gun kills. Well, how many nukes do you have on Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare, I think I have around no more than seven. I don't think. Because it's so freaking hard. You have to get 30 gun kills without dying. Yeah. It's, it's like a lot of times I'll be pushing. Hard. I don't really like pay attention for a nuke unless like I'm on like a 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. Then I start playing a little bit past them. Like, all right, I try to go for a nuke. But I, yeah. I lost count though. I think I know I have more than five, one million percent. But like, I don't. Like, okay, Modern Warfare 2, that one was easy because you can get, like, you know, the kill All you have to do is get seven it. kills and then exactly. get the Harrier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but f as far as, like, for Modern Warfare 3, I struggled. Modern, no. Ghost. Ghost, I, I, I don't know how people did it. Uh, that shit was, like, tough for me. Uh, what other game I'm was not. There? I'm not too familiar with the, the Kim Strike and Ghost. I should probably go back and try that for a video because I love going for nukes. Like I've always loved that. Like that's one of my first things I loved in MW2 is that. Um, yeah. So if I go back and play Ghost, I might try it out. But for Modern Warfare, uh, at least six v six is obviously easier. But like Ground War, going for nukes. Oh god, that was such a challenge. You got yeah. Fucking sixty people in the game, just all shooting at you. <laughs> So yeah, once and they're just fun. like trying to pick them off one by one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I like I liked Modern Warfare for a lot of the different things, but just not sniping. Sniping could be sniping was hard, or not yeah, hard, but like, just bad in general. The Car ninety eight, the SPR, I think those two snipers, I, I would say including X fifty, made it like enjoyable mm -hmm. uh, for a lot of people. For me, it was like the MK two. The car, the SPR, and the X50. Actually, I don't know. Like, I was kind of flexible with all the snipers. And I was just having a good time. Because, like, we started off with HDR. five snipers. <laughs> yeah, no, we started, yeah, we started with HDR when we, you know, we were leveling up. But um, that's another thing. Um, a lot of people sleep on the fact that Modern Warfare started off with five snipers. We had three in BO3. Um, and then we had three in World War II. We, we always start off with three, usually. I think... Yeah, yeah, even in the previous cause. So I think like three. that was one of the very few causes we started off with a lot. And yeah. there was a lot of content to be made. And I, I didn't realize it until like later on. And um one other thing is uh oh, what was I gonna mention? Cold War, right? So you know how we were all complaining about how the slow the snipers were? Yes, and like because we were playing with them on beta and they were so fast. Yeah, so we were so used to it because, you know, they were like the average speed for the COD. But then now they slow it down a little bit. But then we were able to adjust because, you know, that's how we are. You know, we were able to adapt. But um, <clears throat> I remember back in Modern Warfare when we started playing, like the first month, we all complained how slow the snipers were as well. And we had to yeah. give it a solid month because we had to level up all of our snipers just to be able to get a decent speed. 
But yeah. the Carnet 8K, like you get to level what 20 or no 30, I think it was 32 to get the cyber scope. It was decent. Like you were able to like quick with it just fine. I think yeah. everyone stuck with the Carnet 8K instead of like the X50. Even though car was under the marksman rifle category, and I remember, I still remember, and I and people still say it to this day. They're like Carnet 8K is not a sniper. I said, man. I was like, if if you count in war at war, you count in <laughs> World yeah. War Two. I was like. I, I was like, I know you don't play those games. I one million percent know. Yeah. No doubt in my mind. My question is, why the hell do they have a German Car 98 from World War II in a Modern Warfare game? I never could wrap my head around yeah. that. that. Yeah, that is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> that just doesn't make sense. But there's so many snipers out there that they've never added that would never touch the Call of Duty scene because... They know that we will be hyped about guns that they've always used, like the M40, the Intervention, the Barrett. But there's so many actual real-life guns out there that they've never even put in the game. And it's kind of frustrating. But. Yeah, they consider the right tech the Barrett. But I was honestly... Oh, excuse me. I was, I was hoping for the Intervention to come back. and Because apparently it was in the past yeah. files, but I don't know. I mean, maybe they might... I, I don't know why, but I feel like they would... Maybe add another sniper this year. I don't know why, but I feel like the modern would just... warfare multiplayer. Yeah, because like they might add it for Warzone and just put it in the multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's that would be prediction. cool. I think the transfer over from all the Black Ops guns to Warzone, how terrible it was because half of them don't work. Uh, it was a cool. It was a cool thing that they added in. It was a cool like. You know, it's different, you know, we have all these new guns, like they just dropped them all in there. Um, and I feel like they could definitely do that for a lot of new guns too. <clears throat> but I don't yeah. know. What gun would you like to see in, in Cold War come? A lot of people say, like Buzzer says the PSG. We've already seen the PSG. I want something new though. Uh, mm, I want to say, can't say Locust because it was brought back from... BO3 to BO4. Watch them add the WA2000. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now they said they were going to bring the Dragon off, or it was uh, the Dragon off. Yeah. Uh, I oh would want to say probably the Ballista, maybe. That's, a, know, that's a futuristic maybe. gun, though. We're talking about yeah. Cold War. I don't know. <laughs> they could I definitely mean, bring honest, in the uh, M40 for sure. Yeah, but like, I feel like. Knowing Treyarch, they would probably do some like stupid shit and and just bring it back just because um because they brought they brought Express and the Express looked like a fucking twenty yeah map, you know what I mean Express definitely was not changed one bit they just copy and pasted it which is funny because you know they changed like most of the maps to make them look like they were in the eighties the Cold War era whatnot but they didn't do they even try with Express for sure yeah so. That's what I was saying. Like, I, I, if they're doing that with Express, like, if they're going to bring out weapons, they're probably not going to care to just bring it back to Ballista. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. <clears throat> um, yeah. I, I would love to, like, even, you know, uh, time period aside, I would love for them to bring out some cool, cool guns back from the old games. But I oh, really, yeah, sure. I really would like a new, like, original sniper. Because there are some snipers out there that they've never added, but that will be pretty cool. I can't believe they keep on shitting on the Barrett. That's two years in a row where they just crap on the Barrett. Yeah, I think it's because, like... Well, I mean, to be fair, if we were to use the Barrett for Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, man... <laughs> that's, nah, there's no shot. People will be complaining about that left and right. I know, it's annoying because people complained back then. And it's like, okay, well, you... Like, they left it alone. But people can play now, and they're like, oh, well, we got to nerf it now. Yep, yep. <clears throat> Pretty annoying. Uh, I'll be honest, MW2 Barrett extended mags would be crazy. Dude, it would be so awesome. I Like, bro, when I think of the, the MW2 Barrett, I'm just thinking, like, someone just spraying the Barrett down and says someone's throw after, they're, after they kill him. <laughs> yeah. Because, bro, it, when someone would piss you off or whatever and, and you would kill them, you would just spray the whole, like, the rest of the mag into their body and so they make yes. sure that you, they, they see it in the kill cam. Just yes. to piss them off because they piss you off. That's hilarious. Oh, man. 
like seeing that Barrett on MW2 makes my mouth water, man. Like if they if they add it to a new game, that'd be awesome. Never yeah, happen. I think. Uh, what do you think is um, the better Barrett, MW2 or MW3? MW2 is the best Barrett. MW3 is easier, but MW2 is the best in my opinion. Yeah, I think I think MW3 like the Barrett was so. It was heavy, but like it felt smooth in a way. I don't know something about no, it. No, 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 one hundred percent. No, MW three sniping felt smooth, but for some reason, like looking back, I thought MW two had like better. I thought it looked better, like overall, like the game looked crisper than MW three. MW three is yeah. kind of grainy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad you think that way because I, I mentioned it back in the day. People were like, "No, no, 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 no." MW3 has better graphics. I'm like, it does not. <laughs> eh, it looked like they downgraded. They kind of went downhill. 100. percent And you know what's weird? When when I watch MW3 compared to MW2, this is just this is just weird for me. Why does MW3 look 2D and MW2 look 3D? <laughs> like I. Like it just it's just so like linear. Like I don't I don't know how to explain it, but it just doesn't pop like MW two does. MW two definitely the, pops. Yeah, like with the saturation. Um Yes. I don't know, I guess oh oh yeah, well we also gotta remember like um after the MW two developers got split up and then they had to find newer people, so it kinda looked I guess I kinda fucked with it. Yeah. With the development. It was definitely smoother though, when in terms of like quick scoping and stuff. It was definitely smoother on Modern Warfare Three. Yeah, MW Two had that really meaty hit marker sound. You know, it was, it, it was in my opinion, MW Two is one of the best games, if not the best. <clears throat> yeah, I think for someone that like in a competitive, well, actually, I don't know. Like, I, I always think about this. Um, if Modern Over 2 was really a balanced game, right? Like, you think about all the overpowered weapons that were in the game, right? There was a lot. Like, you, you could use anything and you could shred, no matter what. Yeah. But if you're thinking, like, like let's say if you were to use, like, the ACR, right? What could counter the ACR? You can use a TAR-21. You could use a UMP. You could they, there were, use they a were, five. There were so Uzi. many good guns in that game. Yeah. Uh, you, it was it was very flexible too, like especially for the FAMAS M16. Like you were, oh my god, man! That what like one burst straight to the chest across yeah. like underpass, done, crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, man! M16 was crazy. The F2000 was by far the worst. Um, but yeah, you had the UMP with a silencer. You had P90. You had so many good guns in that game, and yeah, it was very, very flexible. It was super flexible. What killed the game the most was the damn noob tubes. They never oh, got. Yeah. They never nerfed the noob tubes. The splash damage on that thing was crazy. Yeah, you faced a whole what hard doom nine man. They all used noob tubes, bro. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Yeah. It was the most hilarious shit. And if you were lucky enough, well, I wouldn't say lucky. If you were good enough. Um, you would able be able to slap them around the whole nine man, and if you did, they would think that you're hacking. <laughs> the greatest feeling! Holy shit! Uh, that 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 game was perfect, man. Golly. While we're on the topic of MW two, how do you feel about iReaps? Are you bringing it up because you saw? Did you see the documentary? Yeah, we watched on <laughs> stream. I was like, I was like, I was like, ah, oh, I have to watch it. I was like, I got to see what this man's talking about because I was like, yes. it's an hour long. I was like, no shot, this dude made. You know, he put a lot of effort into it. I was like, he right. did, he did, yeah. didn't he? Whew. Yeah, I watched that and um, it was a good video. Yeah, I, I definitely think like Iris was ahead of his time, uh, especially 100%. with darkness, and definitely. 100% like one of the best 100% um yeah and and i've i've always wondered what it was like to go up against i reaps like like if you were to face yes. against them yeah. and to see like how different it is on on skill level um because like you know like i i nerded the fuck out of mw2 you know i i studied the spawns i did like a i did competitive yep. sniping you know i i i studied that game like it was like a textbook or i don't fucking know man yeah. it was crazy so, yeah, I don't know. I just always had a competitive drive, and I was like, I just wondered, you know, how, what it would be like if we used intervention, or what it'd be like if we used Barry when I when I go up against him and see what would happen. And 
Apparently, I think Drew went up against him on the Ultra Nove account. I think that's what it's uh, called. Oh, when he was going for AV4. Yeah, yeah. And apparently, Drew said he, he went up against him and dropped more kills than him. And I was like, oh, I don't fucking know. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can man, have bad games, know. sure. <laughs> yeah, because Drew plays the shit out of that game. So, like, right now, I think for the past couple of years or a few years now, like, I... I know Drew is one of my boys, but I think hands down, like he he's probably the best on this game at the moment. Back then, obviously not, but you know. Yeah, no, there's so many people that got good at Modern Warfare 2. Um, and people say like this person's the best, this person's the best. You don't understand how good I Reaps was because he was he was doing all this when the game dropped on like week one he was using the sniper like stuff yeah. like that we learned about this over the years and we got good he was doing this day one like that's so crazy to think about because he dropped his first montage within the first like week or two and he was getting like quad feeds and stuff yeah and stupid and, shit uh what's his name maj even fucking looks up to i reap so like, oh yeah yeah you usually see tweets about him um he, he made a i pomage account and made a a, a video to the AV3 soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny. The video was fun too. Oh, uh, so do you fall into the conspiracies about Irips, or do you think he's actually just one player? Uh, I don't know. I, I hear a lot of things, and I, I can't really pin down what I'm really believing because sure, I've heard that people say that. The reason why he kind of stopped playing for a while was because there was like, like I guess you could say hackers or people pulling IPs trying to figure out who this guy is. Oh, and wow. especially when you have this like this amount of, you know, fame behind your name on YouTube, you know, a lot of people are going to be wanting to know who the fuck that is. And especially at that time, you know, how easy it is to pull someone's IP on the Xbox 360, yeah, right? Stupid. So imagine you get in on a lobby with iReaps. Oh, iReaps uh, identity exposed within a heartbeat. So I think that iReaps was probably trying to play on a VPN or something. Uh, who knows what iReaps was trying to, you know, just trying to get away from. Because I, I remember there was someone that I know, a friend of mine that, that knows that um, this guy, I don't know if I want to bring it up on stream, but he was uh, trying to figure out who Ireeps was, and he was trying to pull his IP. And apparently, um, uh, some people have said that he's been like, there's multiple people on the account because you know he was on a two bar on this connection, and then he was full bar on wow. this connection. Yeah, so like then that I think that's what made the conspiracy of multiple accounts or not multiple accounts, sorry, multiple people on the account. But then mm -hmm. again, I'm thinking to myself, like, what if he was just on the VPN so he could avoid somebody that was trying to pull his IP this whole entire time? I've never heard I've never heard of that side of the conspiracy. I've never heard of like him being afraid to get exposed, like who he is for people pulling yeah. accounts. I've never even thought about that. That's a really good concept. But what I've heard the most from people uh like the conspiracy side, obviously, um, because I've talked to people on the podcast about this almost every time I talk to someone. Uh, but Chai, I had Chai on on the podcast. And he says, uh, and this is just his opinion and that other people have the same opinion. But he says that he thinks it's multiple people play on the account because in the clips you see different play styles. And also the quality of in some of the clips differs from like, because some people, you know, have different capture cards. But my counter to that was I'm sure he just, you know, he's mixing old clips with new clips, stuff like that. But yeah. And another theory that I had was, um, I don't know if you knew this, but back in the day when we didn't even know about monitors, right? Like we didn't even know what the fuck a one millisecond LCD 1080p monitor was, right? Like we didn't even, yeah. we were all on TVs, right? Exactly. We were just gaming on a fucking eight Hell millisecond yeah. delay, bro. But what I, what I caught on so early was that I was playing MW2 on a box TV. So I was playing on 480p, yep. pinpointing kids across the map on competitive sniping. I don't know how the fuck I did it, but I did it. <laughs> and I remember when I recorded my Dazzle, um, I, I didn't have a delay. Like I, it was like on a box TV compared to a HD TV. Like you would have 80 millisecond delay on a TV and you would have little to no delay on a box TV. So like your shit was instant. So wow. my theory was that like, 
if I was to play a game that I can have the best experience on and be able to like have a better response time and be able to shit on kids that that are you know in my lobby with a sniper, I would probably want to play on the box TV more than a and than a HGTV. So I was thinking like, what if I Reaps did that so that way he could play better on a box TV? And I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense because one of you knew about monitors, but I was like, I don't know how old these clips are, like what time frame, because like there's no you know like detail or information about that like yeah yeah i mean the most we can say is like oh this video released on this day but what about the clip like when what day was that clip hit on you know what i mean there's no time frame so and he doesn't even and i reaps himself it doesn't even explain about that so i don't know man like that there's so many different little things that we don't even think about um yeah. but no that that is a cool cool like aspect of looking at it uh because yeah, with- i know i know drew like when he played on the TV, he went on the box TV so that way he can experience like the faster response time. Yeah. Um. On on the box TV, so like that that got me thinking. I was like, what if I reaps did that for that purpose? It got me thinking. Yeah, that's crazy to think about. Uh, but people talk about him playing on like multiple or multiple people playing on his account. I don't believe that theory that multiple people play on his account and like did this or this or this. For the sole purpose that it's been so long that we've been talking about him, like being this legend, this, all these conspiracies, none of his clips have been leaked from anyone. Like, no one's ever uploaded his raw clips to show that, you know, they were playing on their, his account or whatnot, you know? Yeah, but I also think that, like, as a player, you kind of develop a new play style over the years go on. Because I started, like, when I was playing... Competitive sniping. I had like no, 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 no. Let me backtrack real, real quick. When I would play like pub matches, and then I went to competitive sniping, and then I learned a lot of things. My I changed my whole entire play style within like a year. Uh-huh. And then when I started doing pub stomping, my competitive play style was still applied to pub stomping, like as in like you know like sniping with the and public matches. Yeah. And and then. I started trying to adjust my play style to not be a competitive sniper in, in the public matches. So then I started switching my play style and I, it got me thinking like, I could do multiple play styles in one game. So mm-hmm. like, if you think about it, I just could have done the same thing. Like if he, I'm pretty sure I just played competitive sniping behind the scenes and we didn't even know. And yeah. he could apply that into like the public matches, which completely changes play style behind the scenes before we even knew about it. Because I did the same thing. Like when I, if you... Like, if you go out on any of my videos back in the day, back in, like, 2014, 2015, you would not see me do the same shit as I would in 2017. Like, 2017, yeah. my play style developed and got way better than it did in 2015. It like went I, from I competitive to, like, you know... Yeah, I'm, pup something play style. But then I mixed yeah. it to my own so, so I can understand and be able to, like, do better in the lobbies. So Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so, like, like when I think about for iReeves, I'm thinking, like, Maybe he switched up his, play, or maybe he just adapted to everybody. You know what I mean? Like, cause he he stopped playing, but like he was able to come back and catch up immediately because he just knew. Like he he yeah. he did his research. He I'm pretty sure he did it behind the scenes. So like, for for multiple play styles and it, like, you know, in his defense, probably be just adapting. Yeah, yeah. The whole everything about him. I think that's the reason he's such a legend and hailed as. The greatest on Modern Warfare 2 is just because we don't know anything about him. It's just all we know is his gameplay and his videos, and they're still to this day some of the best. And he was releasing them back when uh, no one else was. Like, no one else was doing that kind of shit. Yeah. And I mean, that documentary, how nerdy as it is, that like kind of shows how great he really was just because, you know, that video put everything into perspective that. A lot of people didn't even think about, you know. Yeah. How how well is that video doing? Is that like because last time I checked, it's like three like, K views. Yeah, three K views, which is really good because that's his second video on the channel. So it's definitely a video that kind of blew up in the terms of Call of Duty sniping. Oh, is that six K views now? Oh shit, dude! I haven't even like made wow. a video shutting it out or anything. That's crazy. It must have been, it must have been really popping off. He should have titled that video putting documentary. So that way, every time like someone looks up I reach Docker, Docker. Yeah, but like now you look up I reach documentary, it's like it's the third in the search. So it says, oh, it's 7.5K. Oh, shit. 
the iRibs documentary. You know, after watching that, I was like, this is such a cool idea. And I, I honestly wanted to like, I've honestly thought about like making one, but I just have no idea what I would make it. Because iRibs is like the perfect example of some someone to do a documentary about. Yeah. Also, you have to put time and research and all that. I don't know if I would sit through doing all that. Ah, uh, yeah, I wouldn't either. <laughs> no. There's no way, especially when it's going to get copyrighted for like the montages. Like, yeah. you're, not, you're not getting any profit out of that. You're just getting the, you know, the slight recognition. That's it. Yeah. After talking to you today, I'm definitely going to put more energy into TikTok. Definitely Hell yeah, that bro. side. Because I'm, I'm trying to get people on because like I've been, like I, I've told um, before our, uh, the Soul roster, like, like the split up um, back in like Modern Warfare. I told mm -hmm. the whole Soul Rush, I was like, listen, hop on this, like, now, like, trust me. Yeah. They're like, ah, I don't know, they kind of half-assed it. I was like, all right. I was like, if you guys are going to not do it, I'm full sending this shit. And now I look where I'm at, man. They're like, oh, exactly. shit, Zephy, I didn't know you were flying like this. I was like, bro, I've been telling you for, like, fucking last year, uh, bro. Come on. Yeah. No, I am definitely uh, have to put more time and energy. Because here's my thing. I love making videos on YouTube, right? And I love streaming. But whenever I, if I upload a TikTok... I feel like no satisfaction if it does well. Mm. Moose, it's all right. Sorry. Uh, I feel like no satisfaction if it gets like 10K views, you know? But if a video gets like a couple thousand views, I feel pretty good. <laughs> so uh, yeah. it's just, it's just you know, knowing that so eventually it will transfer over to like other platforms is what would be like the motivating factor to, to me. Yeah, so. and also like, like, when I first started posting on TikTok, a lot of my clips flop. I was still learning. Um, there's a lot of like aspects to to how TikTok works um, mm -hmm. based off the algorithm. So um, when you get the hang of it, you know you, your your videos will start popping, and there a, a yeah. lot of the times your videos will flop, and that that's the expectation you should always go with. Like sure, there's sure. gonna be videos that will flop. There will be videos yeah. that are gonna do good. You know, you just gotta it, literally just post at least once a day, and eventually like you, you'll see progress happen and honestly like posting once a day is better than not posting at all exactly like, like you can reach out to one person that one person that just saw that post and like wow this dude is nasty i'm gonna and go check out his twitch and then and boom, now he comes back to follower <laughs> exactly you know what i mean so every time you post it's not a loss it's, it's a gain every single time even though it doesn't go up to your expectation or like let's say you average 100k every video you and then boom you want to get 10k out of that one you know, you know what I mean? Like 10K like, is a lot of people though, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like to me, I'm like, fuck it, man. Fucking full send this shit. Yeah, 100%. That's the mindset you got to have. And what 110%, that's that's how you got to do it. So. Yeah, but but that also applies for other platforms as well, right? Like even as a creator, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, people do it for money or whatever. But like a lot of people do it for just because they have a, a incredible passion for it the what they exactly. do exactly and, exactly and no matter what the outcome is they're still gonna do it like like in me in my hand you know i've been doing this for since 2010 and all my videos flopped like for seven years right i'm i wasn't exactly. popping but i was like you know what i'm having fun doing this i'm gonna keep doing it you know i've always uploaded highlights all the only thing that changed with what i did was like i started learning new things and i started um i still post highlights you know i i still um you know post funny moments but the only difference is like the title the thumbnail the format is mm, kind of the yeah. same yeah you gotta, you gotta switch it up but it's still, a it's still me you know i haven't i haven't changed anything all, all i really did was improve so yeah. it's it's all about improvement and and love what you do because um another thing is is i remember i watched uh butters is one million you know you know noisy butters yeah, yeah, yeah. butters face butters yeah so she made a one million video of her just talking about just sitting down on a chair just talking about life and uh, how grateful she is to hit one million and you know she That's was just crazy going on too. and and one thing that took away from that video that i remember very clearly is that she doesn't make youtube videos not because of she wants to simply make a career career out of it right of course like like that's the opportunity but she wants to make videos to document document her whole life into one channel that's and cool. that was like dude like that's a perspective 
of like of a creator. Like every single creator exactly. should always go into that perspective, no matter what it is. Even if the views exactly. flop, whatever, you document what you do and you look back and like, well, I'm so proud of myself that I did that. Even don't Very don't give a rat's inspiring. ass of who the fuck says, oh, it's video games. Why are you gonna look at like 10, 20 years? I'm motherfucker, I'm gonna look at my own video 20 <laughs> years from now. And I'm like, holy fucking shit, I was cracked the fuck out, man. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. You know, That's you gotta be proud of your own shit exactly that's that's the mindset you gotta have and i've i've been like that too uh i've, I've always made videos because i enjoy it um but back when i started doing reactions which is what i'm pretty much known for is just the guy who watches videos reacts my goal when i started montage reactions was 10 years from now when we look back at like an old montage that we want to watch and you type it in on youtube what pops up first thing is that montage. Second thing is my reaction to it. You can watch it with me if you ever want to go back and watch it. And, oh, yeah. uh, and that's, that's the legacy to live for. Yeah, and that's it. And uh, yeah, man, uh, I got about work in about an hour, but uh, I, I'm glad i'm glad you were able to come on and uh yeah for sure thank you for like you know having me on because <laughs> oh yeah I, I i saw you do this and i was like this is ty like i i don't know i just wanted to hop on one day and you know be featured but i was like i don't know if i'm you know cool enough or what <laughs> oh no please like <clears throat> this like obviously i don't i haven't i stopped doing this for a while just because it's very hard to schedule it and mm. with my work schedule because i work for p.m. to 2 a.m. so it's very hard to schedule around those hours like before that um so it's just all about scheduling for for this but i've always wanted to do some sort of podcast where we talk about call of duty watch videos stuff like that so uh yeah, yeah. for sure and this is only the third one this year so you're you are uh the third guest for this year but i plan to do more in the future who do you think i should have on just out of everyone you could think of it, it doesn't um, have to be like some content creator. It could be like anyone, players, editors. Ooh, uh, that's a tough one. I feel like, <clears throat> I definitely feel like you should feature someone in the trick shot community just to like mix it up. I don't know if you're. I know. That's just, I, you know what I mean? I like haven't, just to I haven't, get uh, a different perspective. Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly. I don't know too many trick shotters, but I would love for like Sean or someone to come on. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. Or so. uh, get, um, for sure, like, I don't know, I, I, would, if, I mean, if I was you, I would definitely go around, like, different sides of the community, get, like, one person from, uh, like, maybe a red gunning side, get someone, like, trick shotting, and then someone that's been playing for X amount of time, like, like 10 years or 20, whatever, and uh -huh. then one person that just got in the community just as of recently and get, like, their background story, so that way yeah. people, you know what I mean, because I feel like, I feel like everyone should always get a perspective of everyone in in one part of the community, you know, at like every single perspective. Just because like that it. helps so much on growing because we get to understand like, okay, this is the reason why this person thinks like this and this is why this person thinks like this. And we you know what I mean? Like we, yeah. we understand each other a lot better. It's it's so nice. No, one hundred percent. Uh I, de I definitely want to do this more. Like I said, it's it's hard to get it scheduled and like hard to have people come on, but mm -hmm. I definitely want to do this more. Um my biggest problem with like YouTube in, in general is just sticking to one thing. Because you see the people who, who get really big on YouTube, that it's just the same concept, like the same type of video over they upload over and over and over, whether it's like gameplay or whether it's like commentary whether it's this or this my biggest thing is it's so hard for me to just stick to one concept i always like to upload different things um but uh yeah i i, I, I think it's good to like to upload different things um but, well it depends because like obviously like it's hard to upload like let's say uh among us video on a cod on a cod channel or a Fortnite yeah. channel if you upload apex on a on a on a fortnite channel you know what i mean like it'll just yeah, flop gotta keep in the like, same realm yeah and that that's that's a hard part about youtube you got to keep going with like the game that you built yourself off of and then you know if you're going to tap into a new game you got to rinse and repeat like you got to find a whole new audience you got to repeat that yeah so like like i think for me personally like i wouldn't tap into a new game until like three four five years from now mm -hmm. um but for someone that like like 
I mean, for us, you know, I, I, I still consider us like the smaller creators, you know, I'm saying like, you know, we're not on swag face swag level or like, you know what I mean? No. Like Call of Duty. Yeah. Um, like he could hop on a new game and still pull like a decent amount of viewers to be able to like average, you sure. know, and, and make money out of it. But sure. for us, you know, we're, we're risking whatever we're making. And, you know, so I, I think it just, it depends. Um, and if we're going to stick to a game, we have to have purpose and why we want to keep co continuing with it. Um, yeah. Like, like if you're like, like, if you're on call of duty, if you're trying to be the best player, you know, obviously you're documenting your process and you're going to enjoy yourself being the pl best player. You know, you, you're, you're on the path to do that. So there's no, you know, playing another game is just one, one set and go. But if you're the type of person to just try out multiple things, I think it's harder, but there's, I feel like there should be a path, but it's based off of maybe like personality based. I, I don't yeah. know. Like that, that's something I can't wrap my head around because it's just hard. It is hard. And my biggest thing is, you know, I have ADD. I like, I want to do all these different things and I have, I have a notes on my phone of all these different video ideas, but I upload all these r different video ideas, but it's never like one consistent thing. So if you watch one of my videos on YouTube, every mm -hmm. video is it's like every video is different and you never get the same thing over and over. And, uh, I feel like I need to kind of just stick to one thing and just see, uh, see if I can grow from that. But, yeah. uh, it's, it's yeah. like Twitch, you know, when you play one game, and you play a different game, it just the, yep. the, the viewership Those are just drops. Off. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, yeah, man, thank you for coming on. Uh, this was this was awesome. I wish we had a little bit more time um, because I gotta go to work in about forty five minutes. But uh, I'm definitely open to having you on again, or you know. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, maybe streaming yeah. sometime, just watching videos or something. Hell yeah. Uh, whenever in the future, I mean, just hit me up and we'll run it back or something. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And <clears throat> I, I, I've, I've stuck to like the Call of Duty, like sniping side, obviously, because there's so many people who I can have on. But I'm definitely open to doing someone on a different realm of YouTube, you know, whether it's trick shotting, whether it's even like a TikToker, like I can pick their brain about oh, what do you, what, you what do I need really to do? Good? Clue how he went from COD to Fortnite. Oh shit! He follows me. I could, I could definitely DM him. Yeah, that that'd be a good feature for sure. That would, that would. Oof, we'll have to, we'll have to, we'll have to see about that. Uh, but yeah, man, thanks for having me on, or <laughs> thanks for coming on. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Everyone in the chat, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is going to go up on YouTube later on this week, probably. Um, but I'm going to uh, send you guys over to someone else. I think I'm going to raid... Uh, let's raid Kia. He just joined Obey yesterday, so we'll give him a big raid. But, uh, yeah. Zephy, thanks for coming on. Oh, real quick. I, I forgot to ask you this. Hmm. Where did... How did the chili pepper thing start? Um, <laughs> I used to go by a sheep because, uh, back in Twitch, like when it was around 2016, I, I don't know, I was just a couple of buddies that we were just fucking around and well, one, one dude went by a tiger, one dude went by a pigeon, another dude went by like a kangaroo and I went uh -huh. by a sheep cause you know, just to fuck around. Yeah. And then like, I was like, what if I implemented my branding? And then I realized that after a year or so, I was like, that doesn't make any sense with Zephy Sheep. Because I saw a ninja <laughs> and his branding was ninja, the ninjas, right? Yeah, literally. I was like, what if I had something that like had a, um, like a, like a, um, like a ring to it. So then one day, one of my mods like sent me a Snapchat, called me Zeppers. I was like, oh, that rhymes uh... with peppers. I was like, what if I went by peppers? I was like, oh, that sounds tight. And then I just started like, come up with a lot of ideas. And that's basically what happened. Do you like spicy foods? To be honest, no. <laughs> I'm drinking a lot of water when I drink spicy foods. So I'm like, well, oh I, I can eat gosh. it. Like, you know, I, no problem, but I don't prefer it, I guess you could say. So I, it's weird, but. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I think that's something going to go down in history. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that's funny. All right, man. Thanks for coming on. I'm going to send everyone over to uh, Kia. So everyone go join the raid with him. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Adios.